Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a little lesson in supply and demand and maybe perhaps a lesson for Wizard of the Coast. Anytime Wizard of the Coast gives a limited product meant for new players or EDH players, mostly casual players, and the product is not available at Barnes & Nobles, Walmart, Target, big store chains, what happens is the product will be sold for way more than MSRP. We saw this with the first Modern Masters, which the boost pack was $6.99, but many stores were selling them for $19.99 or more during peak, peak price. We also see this from, from the vault, Commander's Arsenal. Anytime you have a product that casual players would want, like these spell books. I mean, Jace will be the first spell book, but I assume that there will be more for each Planeswalker. MSRP on these spell books are $19.99. However, they're not available at Walmart. Therefore, you can only buy them at your local game store. Now, a good local game store will sell it for $19.99, make customers happy, but the majority of local game stores will just put it online. You will likely never see one of these. And the reason is very simple. It's the same reason that you almost never see any promos worth any money. Fatal Plus promos, oh, we didn't receive those. The Buy a Box promo, nope, didn't get those. This is kind of a strange dynamic because you have on one hand, whenever you give a exclusive product away to Walmart, such as the Masters, the local game store complains because they cannot com compete against Walmart since Walmart just has way more distribution and way more location. Now, when the product is in the hands of the store, the store will make its own decision based on how high the demand is. You might ask why are the Modern Masters, Iconic Masters, all the new sets not as valuable as they were because it makes no sense to hoard them. Previously, regular Modern Masters, they were $6.99 booster pack. People were trying to get $12.99, $15.99 booster pack because you could hoard them and there's a limited amount. Now, you can't do that. The same with Commander decks. A lot of things have changed, but at the core, the core issue I find is there's not a balance. So do you give local game stores this exclusive product and know that they're going to absolutely scalp their customer base and then sell online? Okay, you don't give it to it. You allow it to be sold at Walmart. Well, now local game stores don't get that additional revenue because no one would buy from a local game store for more than they can buy at Walmart. See the, the new decks, the quote challenger decks. People buy them from Walmart all the time because when you go to a local game store, they're actually at different prices. With the Hazret one being the most expensive. Above MSRP. Now, what would be the solution here? I think some products should be available at local game stores. And some products like this product should not. It is a very casual product. There's no need to... Uh, double its price right out the gate. I think for more advanced products like Modern Masters, you can limit it to a local game store and it would be great for prize support and things of that nature. But for something like Spell Slinger, which is really a good way to get someone you know, interested in magic, they see this at Walmart, they love it, they like how it looks. It makes sense from a casual standpoint that this is one character and here I'm going to spend $20 and now I'm going to have like a story for this character. It makes a lot of sense for a casual player who's new to the game, who sees this at Walmart, they buy it, and then they go to a local game store. This does not make sense as a let's charge double the price for it and the local game store. Uh, it's not a good introduction. Like imagine you're a new player and you go to your local game store because you heard that they have this, and then you realize, hey, the MSRP says $19.99, but this store wants $42.99 or $50. Does 
That is not a good representation of the local game store, and it's not going to build community. It just feels like the first act in interaction with that store is they're trying to rip you off. So now if they're more advanced player, like and they're gonna draft something like uh, Modern Masters, which is, you know, there's so many different mechanics in it. And I assume that that's not the set that a beginner player would jump into. Fine, give that to local game stores, make a killing on that, that's fine to me. But something like this should definitely not be in the hands of people who are gonna double the price and people who are gonna just post all their stuff online. I've shared my experience with you guys with the promo Philia. It wasn't even valuable. Like I don't remember it ever being over five dollars. Maybe it, when it first came out, it was like six dollars. But you know, you have you no. Know, my local game store I used to go to, they didn't hand out any filias, none, zero filias, because I went to the store that Friday and they kept saying they were out. But I know that was not true. The tournament organizer, who's no longer with them, he just took them all for himself for the quote, store as, quote, investment. And that's what you have. You have, like, individuals who create a very bad atmosphere due to greed. I just cannot imagine this beginner product and why you would need to double the MSRP right out the gates. It, it, it's so... You know, you ask why Magic is not growing. You know, I, I know some other channels think Magic is growing and there's a big player base and Richard Garfield saved the game. I think it's stale. I don't think it's growing or I don't think it's declining. But in my area, it's not like, I mean, local game stores are giving it up because it's not profitable. And it's more casual now, at least for me at my age, my older age. I play casual and everything I want to, I can buy is online for cheaper. So unless someone, the, and especially with behavior like this, it doesn't make me want to go to a store when the tournament organizer is yelling at me because I want my file air promo. It's not a good experience. And I will be honest, like as soon as that incident happened, I knew the store was screwed. Because when you have like a, a tournament organizer who is so petty that he won't even give a file or promo to someone who bought multiple boxes, you have to understand that, hey, I don't need to buy boxes from you. This product is, it's not a good product to give to stores only because they will do this. It is a product that should be at Walmart because people will buy the product, read the story, be interested in the game, then go to your local game store, maybe draft some modern masters out to get, to get some more experience. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.